Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from NavigationTrading.com. In this video, I wanna teach you how to use the toolbar in Thinkorswim. So I've been getting a lot of questions from members about how to do this, because they'll see my charts and they'll see this toolbar up top here. So to start with, what I'm using this for are different styles of charts. So you can see kind of my go-to is looking at a three-month chart on the daily time frame, which is what this is. Sometimes I like to look at it as a one-year time frame on the daily charts. If I want to check out what's going on intraday, I've got a two-day, five-minute, so I can just get a quick glimpse of what's going on intraday. I've also got a year-to-date percentage. So if I want to see, okay, year-to-date, I'm looking at SPX. SPX is up 24.72% year-to-date, so it'll give it as a percentage as opposed to the price. Sometimes I like to look at the weekly expected move. So it'll just plot these lines and give me an idea of what the expected move is for that particular symbol coming into the next week. So what all these are, these are considered styles, okay? So if I have this chart layout, I've got the implied volatility indicator, I've got just a nine day exponential moving average on here, no better reason, but just to see kind of the short term trend of what the market's doing. So whatever you want on your chart, you can set up and then you can save that as a style. And all you do is go to this little button here, click style, save style, and then you can name it whatever you want. And you check the box, include patterns and study set and hit save. I've already got saved, so I'm not gonna do that here. But you can save any style of chart that you want. And then what you can do to actually have those as a quick reference in a toolbar up here, is you can add those to the toolbar. Now, how you do that is you wanna to go to this little settings wheel right here, click on that, and by default, Thinkorswim has this turned off, okay? So what you wanna do is you want to click on each chart, hit apply, hit okay, and then that will populate. And so I also have this pinned, so if you unpin it, it can disappear and then when you hover over it, it'll, it'll appear. It's not doing it right now for some reason, but it's typically what happens. So what I like to do is I like to pin that. And then what you can do to add different styles or different variations is just go over to this settings wheel right here, click on that button, it'll highlight those. And then you can you know change the name of them. You can change the button action. You can delete the button, whatever you want. Most likely what you'll do to begin with is just add buttons. So if you wanna add a button, and let's say there's some specific drawing tools that you want to always use, you can add those if you're a Fibonacci person or if you wanna draw ovals or arrows or texts or whatever you want, you can have those drawing tools available. You can add a specific study that's included, our navigation IV indicator or some other study you see here, a study set. You know, you can look at different study sets that you've already added, or as I just mentioned, what I use this for is just the styles. And so I save my charts in different styles. I like to keep it very simple. So I just have a few that I use, the ones that I just showed you. And so you can have those styles there. So you can add a button for any of those, and then those will appear right here for quick reference. Once you hit done and you add the specific styles or study sets that you want, then you can simply click between them very easily and it makes it a little more efficient from a time perspective. You can also save this to look at multiple charts or multiple symbols at a time. So for example, you click on this multi-chart button here. And then if you go up here and you said, okay, I wanna look at four different symbols at one time, populate that. You could type in, okay, I've got SPX. You could type in, let's say, RUT here. You could type in NDX. So you're looking at the RUT, the NASDAQ, and the S&P, uh, maybe the uh, Dow, DIA. So you can take a look at different charts at the same time. I prefer to typically just look at one at a time. And so that's how I have my chart set up. But you can save really any study set any variation of kind of a chart display that you want and then have those set up right here for easy access. I hope this was a helpful little trade hack for your Thinkorswim charts. If you have any questions, let us know.